All right, I was playing around with my new Rigel scope when I discovered something I didn't know it did. And it's really exciting. Uh, I, find it, I find it really interesting. So it has a, uh, it actually has two waveform gener uh, generators, channel one, channel two. It has a bunch of can things, sines, cosine, you know, sines and square waves and triangle waves and stuff. And it has a couple arbitrary things like the uh, ECG and, uh, Oh, a sync pulse. Uh, so it's got stuff like that. And then it's got a setting that says um, ARB. Okay. And um, so here's, a, here's, an, here's an ARB. Um, so I thought that I'd have to go to uh, create files. And they sell software that you have to buy to create arbitrary files and stuff. But people have written MATLAB codes and stuff to do it. And I thought, okay, I can probably do that. I think you can actually write um, Excel spreadsheets and then convert them and stuff. So I, I really didn't really think twice about the ARB thing. And uh, then I started playing around with it and I noticed that you could say create, all right? And you could say create. And then you could say, oh, it's got like an editor. And you could say, okay, how many data points do you want? And you could say, I have so many data points. And then you can edit it and stuff. So I actually created this 10-step uh, um, waveform. And so you go into create, and it says, how many points do you want to do? Well, let's let's do, we'll make it easy here. We'll do, we'll do three points, all right? And then it says uh, edit points. So you get one, points one, two, three. So you say, well, what do you want on point one? We'll say zero volts. What do you want on point two? I want uh, one volt. All right? So now it's created this step. And then what do you want on, uh, oops, one volt. What do you want on, on point three? And let's say we want it to half. Let's go. Let's go down to a half. So we'll say we want um, 0.5 volts there. And now we have this funny-looking waveform, right? And we can say apply. And we can come back to our. And there we go. So we've just created. We've just created this little funny step here. It goes up and then it goes down, right? And then it goes down. So it actually ends up being. A staircase down, but you can you can edit things like this. So, so I created a couple. Uh, one of them. So you can also say once you're in the ARB, you can say load stored, and it has a disk on on board. So you can you can load things. So I created this thing called Ten Steps. I also created a thing called um, Impulse. So let's load Impulse, and now. It's a, uh, I think it's a thousand point file with just the very first point equal to one volt. So it just, it gives an impulse response. And so I think that can be happy, that can be handy. So I have an impulse response stored in there. All right, so you can store all kinds of stuff and, and, and create things either internally or, or externally. Um, but here's a cool trick. I didn't know it did this. It not only is an arbitrary waveform generator, it's an arbitrary waveform recorder, okay? And so let's do that. Uh, let's go back, let's turn this off. Okay, let's take our scope probe. And let me show you what's going on here. All right, so I have a, I have a little board here and let me put my scope on ground and then we'll put the probe here on the output and uh, all right and then let's go out here to some number of milliseconds okay so this is a um, uh, this is a microphone hello I think you can see that um, we're seeing we're seeing my voice we're seeing my voice here okay so we can we can get it a little bit bigger hello hello so we can put the mode on normal. We can set our triggering down to something around here. We could put our trigger over here and if we'd be quiet and I'll say demo. 
demo. Oops, that's too. And put the trigger over here. And put the triggering up so it won't trigger on things. Demo. 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 One, two, one. It's not tricking really well here. One, one. There we go. That's a little bit better. Let's slow it down some more. One, one, two, three, four. And you can see that we're, we're capturing things, right? So we could capture something. Two. Okay, so I've, I've, I've captured this. So let's say that that's, that's, of great, that's of great interest to us, okay? So I've just frozen this on the screen. And so now we can go to our arbitrary waveform generator, okay? Oops. Go back to ARB. All right, then we can say load from channel. So region screen, or we can actually set cursor points too. So we can say we want to just capture a certain part. We can set a start a start cursor. So let's set the start start cursor to here. And we can set the, the, the stop cursor. We can set the stop cursor. Oh, we can't see it, can we? Oh, that's kind of a pain. Anyway, we'll, we'll set the stop cursor. Let's say, we'll put the stop cursor right here, okay? So let's turn the menu uh, back on. And our stop cursor, we will set to, oh, we're doing, which cursor are we doing? There we go. Let's capture that much of it, okay? And then we can say load, okay? And what that just did was it placed that and digitized it, it put it in the waveform recorder, okay? So now, if we um, take our scope probe off of our circuit over here, all right, and move it over to our waveform generator, so I've put it over here on the, on the waveform generator, and we can say run again, and let's see here, we, let's see, channel one, we want to turn on the arbitrary waveform generator. And there we go. Let's see here. We need to make it bigger. So let's see here. Uh, we want to do arb source. We want to edit and we want to make the frequency, we'll leave the frequency that way. And we'll change the amplitude to one volt. So we'll make it nice and big. And there is our, there's our, our, our recording, okay? We recorded this information and it's now in a file. Um, and we can, we can then reproduce that. Uh, we can now reproduce that on the screen. And so that's, that's in there um, temporarily right now. Um, then if we want to save this file, we can hit the save button and then we can save it on the local disk as an arbitrary, arbitrary file. So yeah, um, it is an arbitrary waveform recorder as well. It's really, really cool. So yeah, I digitized this and uh, let's capture a, a single shot of one of those. We can zoom in on it. You can see that it's actually digitized the whole thing. Um, can you see that? Let me zoom in a little bit. Uh, you can see the digitiz digitization there if you zoom way in on it. Uh, let's go over. Let's go over to this one. Yeah, you can see the so you can see the digitization. So, yeah, it's really really cool. Um, you can also turn on linear interpolation between points um, to smooth things out if you want. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, this scope does a lot more than I ever thought it would. Um, so this can this can be very very handy. Let's say you're working on a particular circuit. And every time you want to test it, you have to go back to the thing that you're testing, right? So let's say you're designing an amplifier, you know, a guitar amplifier, and you want to have a particular distortion, right? Well, you could record the, the clean guitar sound and put that in a file. And then while you're working on the circuit, you can always bring up your guitar 
and uh, run it through your circuit. You don't have to go plug in and, and try to strum a chord and, and try to reproduce the same thing every single time. No, you just, you just record it and play it back. Um, yeah, this is, this is fascinating. I think you can, you can go back too and you can edit this file. Um, so if we, if we cancel out of this, uh, I think if we edit in here, we can then change uh, edit points. And how many points do we have? Oh my goodness, we have lots of points. We have, oh yeah, halfway, halfway through we're at 5,400 points. So you can actually go through and edit it point by point if you really wanted to. Um, but uh, I, think, uh, I think what's useful is to be able to, to capture things and play them back and uh, have real world signals to run through your uh, run through your circuits yeah it seems like a really really great thing and you can store as many as you want and uh, create a whole library and yeah it's really cool so uh, let's go ahead and uh, take this file and let's see if it's still running yeah it's running right now right so we're looping this over and over and over again so let's go down here I zoom back out and I have a speaker here. Let's go ahead and hook it up to a speaker. <laughs> you hear that? I'll move my microphone over. So there's me saying two, 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 <laughs> two, 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 and I can uh, I can slow it down. <laughs> anyway, I can make myself sound like a chipmunk. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be really useful.